Hello everyone, welcome to Cognition, an Erica Reed Thriller, Episode 1, The Hangman. Yes, that is actually the title of the game. It's it's honestly the longest title I've ever seen a game have. I think I'm just going to shorten it to Cognition, Episode 1. But the full title is Cognition, colon, an Erica Reed Thriller, Episode 1, colon, The Hangman. That's the entire name, it's ridiculous. So, Cognition, Episode 1. I'm just gonna stick with that. Uh, this is this is an episodic adventure game. I'm not even sure who made it actually. I think it's it, it's a really small game. I don't think it really had any marketing. Um, it's it's from some little indie company, I'm sure. So it's practically unknown. In fact, I don't even remember how I heard about it. But yeah, it's an episodic game. I believe four parts are planned and. So far, three are released, with the third one having just been released within the last month, I think. And this is the first episode. Let, let's get to it, but uh, before I begin, I just want to mention one thing. Um, I read a review for the first and second episode. And just to set my expectations, based on what I read from that review, it sounds like this series has some of the typical adventure game problems where you have kind of ridiculous puzzles that are just jammed in for no particular reason. Um, and it, oh wow, that music took off. In fact, I think I need to turn on the volume. There we go. Um, so yeah, it sounds like this uh, series has some, some of the typical adventure game problems. But it sounds like they're mostly in the first episode. The review mentioned that the first episode has... It's like extended by quite a bit. With silly puzzles. But the second one basically completely solves it. Or mostly solves that problem. So, I'm just setting my expectations based on that. I know there's going to be some stupid stuff. It's not that big of a deal. I'll get over it. And it should get better in the next episode. So I'm just going to keep that in mind. And let's begin. New case. I actually really like the menu music. Just hurry, John. I'm doing what I can. Did you call? Yes, I did. Drive faster. We'll save him, Erica. Erica, wait for backup. Screw backup. They won't be here in time. We've got to find the cane killer before he hurts Scott. Okay, so what am I doing? And also, by the way, it looks like the, uh, the full motion videos that play in this game do not obey the master volume you set in the menu. I'm going to adjust that in post for you so it's not extremely loud, but for me, that video was like eardrum explodingly loud so that's gonna be a problem I hope there's no more videos but there's probably going to be I'm gonna have to fix that anyway alright so what am I doing a buckyball network it's an interesting provider new message Erica it's your dad just woke up still recovering from the knockout I didn't see the killer when he took Scotty all I can do now is try to help you through here as best I can please text me for any problems you may be facing I'll give you my best advice you can save him but please be careful so, wait, is that... Is my dad my tutorial? Is he my tutorial dad? I, I think he is. Hey dad, can you tell me how to walk and how to interact with the game? Alright, so how does... Okay, I guess I just 
close that. Um, you can interact with the world by clicking on any object that causes your cursor to hide. Alright, this is probably going to be pretty standard stuff. Choosing the desired interaction. Yep, standard adventure game. Click, point and click. To open your inventory, click on the tab in the top right corner of the screen. Hmm. I wonder if the keyboard's used at all. Obviously, escape opens the menu. Um, is there like a journal? No, I think I just have to click on the screen. Yeah, I think the keyboard's just used to get to the menu. Alright. Selecting an item in your inventory will cause it to become your active item and show up in your inventory tab. Alright, so there's an examination mode, an interaction mode, and the plus symbol is combine mode. Any items you can look at will be lit up. Alright. So look, interact, combine. Let's look at my gun. FBI standard issue Glock 22. Whoops. I was psyched when I graduated the academy and got my badge. I don't know if I like that picture anymore, though. I don't think anyone ever likes the picture they get on a card. I know I certainly don't. Boston, partly cloudy? <laughs> Wait, what? It's partly cloudy? It's pouring rain. What are you talking about, phone? It, it's raining. Oh, well, it's apparently it's 57 degrees Fahrenheit. What the hell is that? TSL episode 5? Huh? Music notes? Hmm. I'm actually going to mess around in there in a second. But first, let's check out the rest of the stuff. Um, oh, actually, that was the last thing. Alright, so this puts it as my main item, right? Or... This is interact, right? Oh, right, it lights up if you can interact, so this is the only one that I can interact with? Okay. I don't have a reason to do that now. Oh, I have a reason. It's called curiosity. Wait, so I don't have a reason to look at my contacts, but I can just browse the internet? Sure, why not? I guess I'm going to search for entertainment? What? Okay, I'm really curious. Where is this going? Um, I think I need some self-help. Uh, a self-help play. Perfect. What am I doing? That's not what I'm looking for. <laughs> okay, let's get out of there. Huh. It's kind of an awkward menu. Okay, yeah, I thought so. This is the hint system. No thanks, I'm good. Notes. Oh, I can actually write down notes. You know, I think I might just use my pen and paper, although it would be faster to type. Alright, that's just a reminder for myself so I know how to play. Uh, excuse me, John. It looks like you have your fists up and you're about to punch me. Oh no, you're holding a flashlight. Never mind. Alright, so I... I'm kind of confused. Why am I here? John, can you tell me why I'm here? Why are we here? I know John's worried, but I can't wait until backup comes. I don't have time right now. Apparently I'm in a hurry? Okay, let's go. The gate is secure with a padlock. I've got no key. No time to get one. Hmm, I'm guessing I have to shoot it? You know, the graphics in this game are actually pretty damn good. I'm impressed. What is this briefcase? Those two don't work together. Oh, is that to use the item in your inventory on it? Is, is that what that is? Why is this locked? The cemetery should still be open! They're about to close for the night. They must have locked this gate before some of the others. We can go around to the east end. No, we won't have time. No time, we have to shoot it. Alright, get gun, um, I think I click on that. There we go. I'm sure McAdams can't wait to hear what we're doing. 
I'll take the blame. Sure, that'll make it all better, especially since he took you off the case. My brother isn't there. I don't give a rat's ass what McAdams thinks. Right. Oh, I actually get to shoot it. Sweet. Right there. Boom. Uh, let's go. Intuition, I guess. Weird. Yeah, I think the uh, review I read mentioned, uh, even the descriptions for the game, I think, mentioned something about her being, uh, having like psychic powers or something like that. So I'm guessing that's what that was. Alright, double click to run. Pretty straightforward. Scott's not in there. I can sense it. But wait, who's... who's Scott? Hold on. Uh, do I have, like, a journal that tells me what I'm... What is this? Oh, that shows me everything that I can interact with. My phone. Adds the menu. I still don't know why I'm here. I'm, I think I'm rescuing someone? I'm not really sure. Creepy place. No kidding. There's a trail here. These look like fresh footsteps. Well, they lead over here. Scott, please be here. What the hell? John. This is definitely the Kane killer's work. Only read blood. And there's a camera? Why is there a camera? You think he's watching us? Are you kidding me? The question is, how exactly did he set this whole thing up? I don't know. I hope we're still in time. <laughs> Given that it says only read blood and it looks like it's written in blood, I don't think so. Only read blood. What the hell does that mean? This has got to be the place. It's fresh and it's blood. John! Keep it together, Red. Better hope that's animal blood. Hello? Open this goddamn door! Scott? Reed, you gotta give us away. You think he doesn't know we're here already? I don't have time for these games. Alright, how the hell do I open this thing? I'm guessing I need a key of some sort? There's something missing here. Let's take a look around. Yeah, I need some sort of a key. I'm missing something. Is that like where you're supposed to put your feet? Do you know what that is? Looks like a pressure plate. I need to figure out how this works first. What do you think these are for? Knowing the track record of this guy, nothing good. <laughs> I'm guessing you stand on the pressure plate and spikes come out and pierce your legs. <laughs> I'm guessing that's what this is. Oh my god. Do not step on that. Or if you do, like, step on the sides. Yeah, if you step right on the side and, like, bow your feet outwards, you might be okay. But you do not want to step on that, because it is going to spike your feet. Or your legs. Yeah, the graphics really are surprisingly good. The character models are eh looking, but these uh, these hand painted environments are actually really good looking. All right, let's look around. How do I exit? Let's see.
Uh, I'm guessing I can take that shovel. Did the killer place a shovel here? Why? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that shovel isn't part of the statue. I'll take that. Uh, it's cemented to the statue. I can't break it off with my bare hands. Shit. Um. I mean, can I shoot it? That's pretty much the only thing I could do. Those two don't work together. Yeah, I didn't think so. That won't work there. Scott's not in there. I can se Scott's not in Yes, 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 I know. Mm, I think this is the only place I can go. Is there anything in the environment I'm missing? What about that? Looks like a pitchfork or something. Can I pick it up? Doesn't look like it. Nope. <sighs> what a creep. Any ideas? Stay focused. They keep searching. Gee, thanks for the tip, John. If you hadn't told me that, I would have gotten distracted and went on Facebook and updated my status. Okay, is there anything out the... Out I the, don't have time to... I guess not. I was gonna say, is there something outside of the front gate that I missed? Like a sledgehammer? But apparently not. Alright, well, there's not much to this environment, so... So... What am I missing? Oh, yeah, the, uh, what you can interact with thing. Shovel statue footprints, blah, 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 mausoleum. I actually don't think I'm missing any items in the environment. The trail dies out quickly. I wonder... I could try using my intuition. It's always been good, but now that Scott's in danger, it's crazy strong. I'm not sure that I can trust it. Oh, her cognition powers are now active. Click on the cognition sphere to trigger them. Alright, let's see what they do. I've had this weird talent since I can remember. I can see images from the past, from certain objects. By touching them and focusing on them. I can always see a faint aura on the things I know through visions. Hmm. Alright, her powers only work on objects with a glowing aura around them. So select it. All right, set. Yep, select it and then press the button. After I get my hands on this bastard, he's going to be busy reassembling his face. So he went back here. What's back here? Oh, hello. Can't have an adventure game without a toolbox. Maybe there's something in here I can use to break, a break away the shovel? Some pliers and a hammer. I think those were pliers, weren't they? Hold on, is there anything else back here? No. Even the moon is against me tonight. I could use more light. There's lights all around you. It's fine. What are you, blind? Scott, please be here. There's more footsteps here. Alright, let's see what he did back here. Oh, 
on, let's find out what the hell he buried. Unless, maybe I don't need the shovel to do it. Maybe I can just do it with my hands. Let's let's see. I can't dig with my bare hands. <laughs> Never mind. Ah, well, a serial killer just buried something. I'm guessing it's probably something horrible. All right, so what do I have? Are those pliers? Uh, no, wire cutters actually. All right, can I use the hammer? Man, it's gotta be bad luck to break a statue in a cemetery. <laughs> Sorry. I'm in a cemetery and the only shovel in sight is stuck in a marble hand. Please be alright. I don't think he's alright. I really don't. I'm in a creepy cemetery and he's been taken by a serial killer and there's blood and stuff and yeah, I think he's dead. Alright, do I have the shovel? Yes, I do. Let's go figure out what the serial killer buried. the shovel. I keep seeing Scott with that monster. So I have to come back to it later, I guess? Okay. That's kind of weird. Scott. All right, we'll have wire cutters, so let's cut that camera. Wait, can I? Doesn't seem like I can use an item on it. What the hell are the wire cutters for, then? Hold on, let me examine them. Wire cutters could come in handy. No kidding. Am I supposed to combine it with something? Uh, no, doesn't make any sense. Okay, so... I have wire cutters, I can't use them to cut the camera. I don't even see what the point of cutting the camera would be anyway. How do I open this door? No clue. You're being extremely helpful. Sorry, Pip, but you're better at these things. You're useless, John, or whatever your name was. Okay. I mean, it's not like my wire cutters are gonna come in handy here. Can I use my shovel? What the hell? You know, I was talking about how this game is supposed to have some ridiculous adventure game puzzles. And it's kind of ironic, I guess, that the very first puzzle, you know, puzzle area that I encounter is kind of ridiculous. Like, what is this? This is... Uh, I can't dig it up because I keep seeing Scott. I can't open the door because I don't have the key, and I'm pretty sure the key is the thing that's buried, but I can't do that because I keep seeing Scott, but I can't save Scott because I can't get in because I don't have the... yeah. I'm not frustrated yet, I'm just very slightly annoyed. I need to figure out how this No oh, shit. All 
All right, wait a minute. There's something about this statue I don't like. Is there like a chunk of marble that I can pick up and put on that pressure plate? There's something. In I guess not. All right, let's go back here. Scott, please. So, can I really not dig this up? I can't use this shovel. I keep seeing. All right. What the hell am I supposed to do? Should I really use the hint system this early on? I mean, what? Uh, I just need to get through this. I'm sure it'll be smooth sailing for a while until I hit another rough patch. But I just need to get through this and then everything will be fine. Wire cutters could come in handy. Nothing left in the toolbox. Can I shove the wire cutters in the hole? That won't work there. I didn't think so either. Can I shove the shovel in the hole? Those two don't work together. I need to figure out how this... I know. It'd be nice if you could use your cognition ability to do that, huh? Except I can't. Alright. Alright. Hold on. I'm going to use the hint system. And I'm either going to curse this game for being incredibly stupid or curse, curse myself for being incredibly stupid and missing something that is obvious. So, let's do it. I keep seeing flashes of Scott. Help me, Dad. Are you serious? That's what I need to do. Excuse me, John. John. Sure, Red. I... What did you want? Let's take a look around. I don't know if I should be angry at the game or angry at myself for not thinking of that. I, I don't know. But I'm just going to continue. Alright, so John, help me out here. Uh, give you the shovel? John, will you take this and dig? I know there's something here. And you take your coffee with two sugars and no milk? John, this isn't funny. Awkward silence? What the hell? What? Sorry. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> that was the weirdest pause I've ever seen. He waited like five seconds and then teleported. Awkward. <laughs> Good job animating the dirt. <laughs> uh. 
Uh, it would have been better just to, I think, fade to a black screen and then come back with it already dug. There. What are you looking for? That. Let me guess, it's the key. What is that? I'm not sure, but I'm about to find out. Oh, I'm already sure. It's the key. Why is my mouse stuck in this loading thing? What was it loading? Actually, let's examine this first. There's a sort of slot in the back of this thing. It seems like it could fit somewhere. Okay. Here we go. This must be the right piece. Here goes nothing. Erica, we should wait for backup. I may not have your intuition, but even I can say this is a really bad idea. There's no time. Scott's life depends on me now. Oh, I'm I'm actually surprised how much interaction the game's giving me. Usually you just watch a cutscene for this sort of thing, but I actually get to do it. That's actually really cool. Come on, you can do it. What am I doing wrong? Come on, Erica, think. I don't know, line it up better? Is there anything I can do other than just press spin? Oh, oh no, 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 don't put your fucking feet on that. You're just gonna get spiked. <sighs> oh, this is not gonna be good. Oh, no. Okay. Oh god. Here we go. Uh Erica, stop. John, let me do this. I It's doesn't it says uh what does it say up there? Only read blood or yeah, only read blood. We'll open it, I guess. And I'm guessing there is about to be reed blood because it's about to spear me. Uh, what can I do? Let's go. <laughs> oh god. Oh, that's gonna hurt. It's, it's, it's gonna it. hurt. It's gonna hurt. Whoa! It's a trap! Get out of there! Only reed blood. Of course. He's watching us. And only my blood will open this door. That's ridiculous. He might not even be here right now. I'm not taking that chance. Step off that crazy thing, now! You stay right there. Whoa, 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 Red! Stay the hell back, John. Eric, think this through. He has my brother in there. My baby brother. I appreciate what you're doing, but step the fuck back because I'm doing this. Fine. Okay, so that answers my question. That's my brother. I did not know that. That definitely helps me be invested in what what's about to happen. Erica, it's not too late to think this through. I'm fine. God damn it! Why do you have to be so damn stubborn? I don't have to do it again, do I? More? Oh god, not more. Uh, Alright, here we go. Ah! Oh! Erica! I'm alright. Don't 
We're going to get this fucker. I promise you. God, that's gotta be so painful to walk on that. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna be running after anyone anytime soon. Alright, well, I just heard Scott scream, so he must be alive. Or at least he was just alive. This is some saw shit, and I think he's about to die, because chances are, just like in Saw, 90% of the time you fail, and then you die in a horrible fashion. Okay, well nothing started yet, so I think I'm okay for now. I'm guessing once I get past a certain point, some sort of a timer starts. So let me just take my time, just calm down, look around. Candelabra. Fits his M.O. He likes to decorate everything. As if it's some sort of ritual, it's sick. Having these so close to the curtains isn't a very good idea. No, it's not. I guess I could catch the whole thing on fire. Would that be a good thing, though? Why would I want to catch it on fire? This device is even more complicated than the ones he used in the other murders. Okay, it looks like it's gonna... I'm not exactly sure what those are. It's either gonna, like, drill into him, or just spear him, or maybe shoot. I either way, he's gonna die. If those go off. Okay. Oh, Scott. What has he done to you? What is this? There's some things on the stone mural. This trap is for me. Scott and I were the cane killer's newest targets. The bastard. He takes siblings. Ah. So I was supposed to be up there. This trap is for me. Candelabra. It fits his M.O. Having these so close to the curtains isn't a very good idea. It doesn't seem to give me the option to move them, though. I've got wire cutters. Basically, my tools are wire cutters and gun. Hmm. <laughs> I'm guessing just messing with the panel is not a good idea. It can't be that easy. This seems to be connected to the trap. Maybe I can deactivate it from oh, here. Oh, shit. I'm, I'm not even going to touch that yet. Let's find out what's in the passageway. Because I know as soon as I touch something on that, it's going to start going off, and I'm going to have like two minutes. And I'm going to have to cut the right wires or something like that, so I'm not going to touch it. It must lead somewhere deeper underground. Alright, uh, let's do this, actually. Uh, oh, damn it, nothing. Alright. I don't have time to see where that leads. 
I'll take care of Cain after I've freed Scott. The cables lead to that panel. What if I just cut all of the cables at the same time? I have to be careful with these. Better to look at the source. Bastard! Okay, can I... Can I see what cable goes into these? Like, what the color of it is? Stay put. Don't... Oh, hell. Eh, eh, don't mess with that. Don't mess with that. I'm not trained for this. Alright, it just looks like they have black wires. So I think I just need to go here. Alright, here we go. Come on, Erica, you can do it. God, walking on legs that have just been stabbed in like eight different places would be so painful. I'm not trained for disabling these. Maybe I can call Terrence. He's good with this stuff and he studied Kane's previous traps. Hello? Terrence, what's your location in ETA? That's God damn too it. late! I have one of his traps going off in T-10. Um, is it attached to Scott? Send me a picture. See it? How the hell am I supposed to know how it was connected? I'm sorry, I, I don't know what else to tell you, Erica. Okay, just... hurry. Think, Erica, think. I'm figuring this out. Hang in there. Okay, the reverse order from the way they were connected. Okay, uh... Cognition. Yes. Okay. Okay, black? Wait, what? Oh, fuck. Uh, uh okay. <laughs> oh god. Alright, so it was uh, black and then... Shit, what was that? Um, do it again. Hold on. Okay, black and then blue? Black and then blue would have to be the last one? Yes, black and then blue. Writing this down. Black and blue were the two last ones. Okay. Process of elimination, let's go. Yellow. Okay, yellow, black, blue. Yellow, black, blue. Okay, then I'm gonna have to do it in reverse, so, okay. Yellow, black, blue. Fuck. It was orange and then green. Orange and then green. Oh god, I'm gonna have to combine all of this together. Don't know if I can do this. Okay, green. So green would be the first one, right? Yeah. Orange. Green. Okay. Come on, come on. Green. Blue. Okay, I already know that one. That's the last one. Wait, do I already have all of them? I have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. F no, wait, I'm missing one. I'm missing one. Which one am I missing? Uh, red. Red. Okay, where did you do red? Okay, uh, orange, green, red. Orange, green, red. Uh, okay, I think I have it. Uh, so the order he did it in was orange, green, red, yellow, black, blue. And I need to cut them in reverse order, correct? Let me just do this one more time, just to confirm. Yeah, black, and then blue. Black, and then blue. Check, check. It was black, and then blue. Yellow. Okay, yeah, I'm good. Alright. Okay, I've got it. So we did it. Orange, green, red, yellow, black, blue. And I need to cut it in reverse, so let's do it. Okay, so starting with the first one, um... 
Blue first. Uh, how do I cut it? This? Okay, here we go. Okay. Whew. Blue, and then black. Okay, and then yellow. And then red. Whew. And then green. Uh, Scott, no! What have I done? Did, did I do it wrong? This isn't good. Shoot him! Wait, oh fuck, I don't have my gun. Punch him! That did not go well. I think I'm- I think I sort of died a bit. What the fuck happens now? I need to act faster. <laughs> okay. Good job. Did I actually mess up that puzzle, or is that just designed to happen? I think I got it right. I'm not trained for disabling these. Yep, yep, yep. Oh god, do I have to go through the whole conversation? Yep, yep, yep. Take a picture. See it? Yeah. How the hell am I supposed? I'm sorry. Okay. Think, Eric. I'm okay, it's when I cut the green one that I went wrong. So let's uh, let's go for the green one. Did I actually get that wrong? I thought it was orange and then green. No, I did fuck it up. Oh no, how did I do that? It's green and then orange. Okay, let me write that down. Green, orange. Right? Yep, I messed it up. Damn. Alright, well, hopefully I won't get shot in the head this time. Okay, blue. And black. Yellow. Red. Orange, not green. Orange. Okay, here we go. Okay, this time I think I need to punch him faster. Come on, you son of a bitch. Yeah, kick him in the balls. Uh oh. Uh. Yeah, I didn't think that would work. Is this just a fucking trial? Uh, elimination thing where I just click on shit until I finally get to not die? What the hell? <laughs> Jumping at someone with a weapon in his hand. Not one of my best ideas. Yeah, no shit. Don't tell me I have to cut the wires again. Please. Please. Okay, thank you. I know exactly what I need to do now, but just... Uh... It kind of removes all of the tenseness from a situation when you just go like one step forward, die, 
Do it again. Two steps forward. Die. Do it again. Three steps forward. Now this has no tenseness at all. Alright, do that. Pull out the gun. Oh no, he has it. And then the candle opera in the fire. And then... Oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> what? What? Do I have a choice of direction? Why the fuck did she... Just... What? Was she trying to hurt the stone floor? What was she doing? Let's do this again. Oh my god. I'm being attacked. This is so dramatic. Except I've already done it three times. I'm gonna punch you in the face. Uh, actually, in the balls. And then you have the gun. Oh my gods. Do I grab this? And then burn him. Well, I'm guessing he's not dead, but at least he's horribly, horribly disfigured now. Oh god, super loud. Cutscene again. Okay, Scotty. We're getting out of here. By the time you find him, you won't be able to do anything about it. 
You'd be blind from staring at that screen in the dark. I like it this way. I can be half asleep and work at the same time. Egg sandwich? It's two in the morning. Exactly. Time for breakfast. Did you hear? Davies closed the cane killer case. I heard. And yet, here you still are at 2 a.m. I'm just... making sure everything's in order before it's sent to the archives. Why are you here? I pick up my phone in the middle of the night. Apparently you don't. Oh, crap. I didn't hear it ringing. Davies? I'm sure it isn't pretty. No, it ain't. Lots of blood and guts, they say. <laughs> or maybe I dreamed it. You sure you don't want your egg sandwich? You can have it. Come on, Skippy. Davies will have our asses if we don't show up ten minutes ago. You know how I hate that name, don't you? I do, Skippy. Man, that egg sandwich smells good. You sure? <laughs> Let's go. Okay, now that I have a moment, uh, let's save. Okay, I'm gonna be right back, um, and I'm gonna adjust the volume a different way. Instead of using the in-game volume thing, I'm actually gonna just max it in-game and then just set the Windows volume to something different. That way the volume in-game and in the FMVs is consistent and doesn't blow my eardrums out. So, I'm gonna go do that. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I've got the volume situated. Um, for reference, after turning up the in-game volume to max, I had to set the system volume for the game, or I guess, yeah, I had to set the, the Windows volume for the game to 5%. That's how incredibly loud this game is. But now that that's set, the volume should be consistent. So that'll be nice, because before I had to actually take off my headset when the cutscenes played, and then try to cover them up because they were so loud. Okay, so just to really talk briefly about the beginning of the game, everything that just happened. Uh, they did so many things wrong and poorly in the beginning, it's not even funny. But, despite that, I I actually still really want to play the game. No, I mean, not just because I know that it gets better in the next episode, but I'm actually enjoying it despite everything they did wrong. I mean... Look, just to briefly think of the stuff that went wrong in the beginning, um, they had me trying to save someone who I didn't even know. Apparently it was my brother, but I didn't even know that. And I didn't have any context on what the hell was happening, so... Even though she was all, you know, in a bluster and scared for her brother's life, I was just like, what? What's happening? That's... That's horrible for a beginning of a game. You really need to make it clear what the hell's going on. You can't... If you don't know what's happening, you can't become invested in what's happening, because you don't know what's happening. It doesn't work. Um, the only other big thing, there's tons of little stuff, but the only other big thing is uh, that whole uh, cutscene thing where I was fighting the cane killer. I really don't like it when games do that. We have to fight someone and inevitably, almost guaranteed, like I bet you practically everyone failed that cutscene at least once. I can, I can guarantee that. Everyone failed that cutscene at least once, I'm almost certain. And it just forces you to play it again. And again, you know, you get one step further and then you die again, and then you get one step further. That totally and absolutely kills any sense of immersion and emotional investment in what just happened, because you're just playing it again and again. At that point, you're not focusing on what's happening, and you're not trying to get into what's happening. Instead, you're just thinking of, okay, how do I beat this? This is annoying. How the hell do I beat this? That's what you're thinking of. It totally ruins it. It really ruins it. So, some major, major mistakes. But despite that, I actually really like it. 
I mean, it has a lot going for it. It has, uh, even though the character models look pretty bad, the the environments, which are all, I think, hand-painted, they look really, really good. And there's some very interesting things from a graphic design sort of perspective. Like when she's trying to open the, the door to uh, get to Scott, and she was standing on that pressure plate and all of that, they had, like, a couple panels in the top left and the top right, like comic book sort of panels that were displaying some other things happening around, you know, like her face and stuff, and, and John's face, and things that are happening like that. That's really cool. And it also has really good music and pretty damn good voice acting, too. So it has a lot going for it, and I'm confident that it's going to get better from here on out. So let's keep going. All right, um... God damn it. You know what? I just totally forgot what I'm doing here. What, what am I doing here? I think I'm at a crime scene. We got called over. It's 2 in the morning. Uh, and I guess we got called over to a crime scene. Okay. Oh my god, is that a bottle right there? It's like the biggest damn bottle I've ever seen. It's like one of those two-gallon apple juice glass bottles you see in stores sometimes. I haven't seen him before. Must be new in the force. Excuse me, officer? This is a crime scene, ma'am. I'm going to ask you to please step back unless you have official business here. Do you really think I don't have official business? What, do you... Do you think I just came up here because it... I saw some flashing lights in the distance? And I thought it just looked kind of cool? And, you know... Police officers aren't too stingy about the crime scenes, right? So I, he'll just let me walk on through. Come on, dude. I could show him my badge. Or I could show him my gun. Yeah. This is not going to work with this. Okay, note to self. Excuse me, ma'am, this is a crime scene. Special Agent Reed, this is Special Agent McCoy, FBI. We're here on official business. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't know. You can go in, sir, ma'am. <laughs> you must be new. You're far too polite. Officer Jonathan Duffer. Yes, I just recently graduated from the academy. It's an honor to serve the city. Ah, fresh blood. Doesn't that make you all warm and tingly inside? No, but I'm sure this crime scene will. Oh. Does Erica have a fetish for crime scenes? Kinky. Uh, well, let's just start with what the hell happened here. What exactly happened in there? I hear they found a body hanging. Murder, apparently. I don't know much else. Like I said, I just started at the force, so they have me standing guard. You're gonna have to talk to your people inside. I don't know why the FBI was called in. You're not the only one wondering. Thank you, officer. Alright, so, well, given that I'm... This entire game series is, I think, about the Kane killer. And she was just closing the case. I'm guessing the case is about to be reopened. Because he's probably back. Who found the body? A bum found the body, but uh, he didn't see anything. Who interrogated him? I heard it was Director Davies herself. Uh, you work for her, don't you? Must be quite an honor. She's something, all right. Any other witnesses? Nobody heard or saw anything from what I've heard. Ain't this our lucky day. All right. Guess I just have to see the crime scene for myself. Thank you, officer. No problem, Agent, and I'm sorry again. Never apologize for doing your job, kiddo. Yes, sir. <laughs> he 
kind of phased partially through it before he bothered to lift it up. Hey, what are you guys doing? You having a smoke break or something? Get back to work, you fuckers. It's an all-agents night. I'm not particularly looking forward to the who's got the biggest gun conversation, though. Are they really that petty? Hey, the Scarlet Furies are playing. I can't miss that. I think that's a reference. The Scarlet Furies. Haven't they made music for some adventure games? Especially some of Jane Jensen's adventure games? I think that's her name. Like, Grey Matter? And I think she was listed in the credits for this game as being involved somehow. I don't think she made this game, but I think she was like a collaborator or something. Or a consultant. Fence. Fascinating. Mm, I don't think the killer came this way. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I have this thing. Nope. Looks appropriately creepy. Why can't killers choose a nice, comfortable spot for once? With good lighting. No shit. Yeah, actually, what is this building? I mean, is this like... Is this an industrial district? Is this a house? What is this? Looks... Why 